Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki. Do I have a story, a recap? I feel like I'm about to tell my mom how my trip went. Recently, Will was booked to perform in Tulum at the Top Shelf Music Bash. It was a new company, we've never heard of them. How they were talking about it, I'm like, okay, this, if this works out, this is gonna be amazing. So we had no idea what to expect, but we were really excited because it was our first time in Tulum, in Mexico, and we needed a trip together. It was like the perfect timing for everything. So it kind of like, we had to go. They had sent over the itinerary and all of this stuff beforehand. So I was kind of able to see like what we had coming up. And it looks like a lot. If y'all know me, I'm a chill girl. I don't really like plan back to back stuff. And they had like three things each day. And it wasn't like little things, it was like, big activities. Everything was planned out. All we had to do was show up. They sent a driver to pick us up in the morning. We had to fly into Cancun. So there's an airport in Tulum, but some people flew into Tulum and we flew into Cancun and we were gonna have to drive an hour and a half to Tulum to check into the hotel. So let me give you some more background on the trip because you're probably sounding a little confused. What the heck is Top Shelf Getaways? So it's basically a travel group. They basically provide a luxury travel experience for the people who purchase the packages to go. And you're able to see all different parts of each country you go to, find the locations, they vet the restaurants, all of that. They also, because it's a music bash, they ask different artists to perform as well as enjoy the vacation. Honestly, all of the, the decorations at this hotel, it was very like rustic, aesthetic, jungly theme vibes. So I wasn't expecting like a modern cutesy room. I was expecting something to kind of fit the outside decorations. And it did just that. It was simple. It had a nice big bed. It had a little thing for my suitcase. I had my own little balcony area where I could like sit out there in the sun with a cute little table and an umbrella. I had a cutesy bathroom. And the mirror was basically a make makeup mirror on the wall. I don't know why they were like, this is a good idea, but we could have gotten a different mirror for that, but it did its job. It was fine. I was barely in my room. So as soon as we got to the hotel, we checked in, we got our little bracelets. They gave us little black bands to wear throughout the whole trip. Like don't take it off because we need those to get into any clubs, any dinner places. And so after we got checked into our rooms, we had 25 seconds to get dressed and head out to dinner because we had dinner the first night. This part, I was a little anxious because I'm like, I don't know nobody here. I don't know what kind of people these are. I hope nobody's out here trying to be too cool for school because if you're trying to be too cool, I'm gonna have a really hard time like meshing with you because then we can't relate because what are you even doing? First dinner was at this restaurant called El Agavero. El Agavero. I haven't heard anybody say it, so I actually have no idea what to say it. I'm trying to figure out what the food situation was gonna be because every time we go to Trinidad, I'm like, Food is killing. And I was interested, like, is Mexico gonna have killing food? But because of the areas we were staying in, I'm like, this seems like a very touristy space. So I feel like the food and the things that are there aren't necessarily gonna be like as authentic. It has to be like kind of modified to fit the palate of the people that are gonna be coming through there. Cause the food wasn't necessarily as exciting as I thought it was gonna be. So they brought out the appetizers. I say this, but I ate everything. They had some interested things on the plate. We got our drinks. We talked to the people that we were sitting at the table with, and then they started with the performances. Yeah, they had one performance. It was cool. Cause I'm like, oh, this is how it's gonna be. Like we're doing our things. We're having dinner and somebody's performing. And I thought that was so cool. But after that, we all like a few of us, instead of going back to the hotel, went out to the next spot, which is like a club. It was like a black and Tulum event. I was about to go back on the bus to go to the hotel. And I see Will and JR like gathering like separately, not coming on the bus. And I'm like, um, hello, are you not about to come on here? Leave me over here by myself. Will came up and he was like, well, I don't want to leave you by yourself, but we're probably going to go excuse me we're probably gonna go i hopped off that bus so fast i don't even know where we're going but we're not about to separate and i have fomo y'all coming back like oh it's the best time of our lives and i'm no we're not doing that this trip this is like when the drinking began i would say i feel like we started drinking and we didn't stop and i was nervous because i'm like if i get hung over tomorrow i'm not gonna be able to hang so i was really like trying to take it easy hydrate i'm over there freaking taking shots from the the bottle dude it was cool because we just had like a booth already set we were listening to music dancing taking shots so the first full day we woke up and we went to breakfast good morning billy wake up come with us i got up at like seven o'clock 
Dang, why? I don't know. It's so annoying. I was I literally like trying, trying to sleep till 8 30, and then I you was like, I'm hungry. There's my balcony right here. This is Junior's balcony, cutesy. I came out here and he refilled this water bottle for me. Oh my god. Like That's so annoying because we went to bed at like 2 and Junior always wakes up. He goes to bed late, wakes up early. What is that? Oh no. The worst at sleeping. What's up, man? The breakfast, um, not necessarily my favorite. I thought the fruit would be better, the options would be a little bit better, but I'm not a picky girl. As long as I have food, I'm good. So we went up there, we got our food, we ordered our omelets, and then I went to check out the pool. They had a cutesy rooftop pool, and I really was like, oh my god, I'm about to come out here and swim and take pictures. I didn't even get to make it up there. We had so many activities planned, are you kidding me? We found out at breakfast that we had to go to sound check. I thought I was gonna have till noon to relax, take some pictures, figure out what I'm wearing, but once again, we're here on business. So we have to go to sound check. It's not even like, they don't even perform till the last day, but apparently they do staging and you can do that anytime. I'm kind of annoyed, but whatever. Oh, superstar. Nice. Okay. Day party outfit. Okay, <laughs> spicy day party shorts. Pulled up at the venue, it was beautiful. It literally is like a tree house. I'm not gonna give too much detail because we go back there on Sunday. From the moment we walked in, I'm like, oh my gosh, we haven't even been to the restaurant yet. So we walked up at the top and it's this rooftop tree house vibe restaurant looking over the ocean with the palm trees and everything just like, I was so like, I was honestly like, taking a million pictures and videos. That's all I could do because I'm like, I can't, I can't forget this. And then I put my phone down and I'm sitting there like, what? Ugh, God is great. Cause what am I even doing here? Sound check, we got everything figured out. We set up everything like how it would be set up on the show day. Yo, look at this cutesy bathroom. Nikki. Oh! What's up? What? <laughs> we said. Hey, are. <laughs> so we went to this place called Butas. Cenote, and it literally is like a bar, natural swimming hole party place. And how it was set up, I'm like, you don't have to dress up. You don't have to wear heels. You don't have to like be, you can literally be in your kini. You can jump in the water. You can take pictures. You can dance on the dance floor. Right. You can walk up to the bartender, get some drinks. And the drinks y'all were flowing. They already prepaid for all the drinks. So we literally just were walking up. Junior went to get the margaritas the first round and I'm like, this is gonna be a day because I need the next one up on deck staff. Another cool thing is that they had photographers and videographers everywhere. Some people had their own videographers. I'm low key kind of sad we didn't take one. The next time we go, whoever's our videographer at that time, you're coming with us because we are getting our own content. The first person I had my photo shoot with, Will went and took pictures with him. His name is Sean. And he came back and he was like, you need to go get pictures with dude. And I'm like, okay, I'm not a model, stressed already. Hopefully he knows how to take pictures and instruct because I'm just about to get up there and be like. When I tell you this guy literally coached me through the best photo shoot that I've ever taken. that I literally was like it doesn't matter where we go what I'm wearing 
I'm finding you and you're taking my pictures. And that's literally what I, I was stalking him the whole time. I'm like, hey, like, when do you get a chance? No rush, but I'm here. You can take the pictures if you want to. He was so nice and literally slayed all my pictures. So we had a couple performances, Seven Trader performed and Eric Bellinger performed at the Cenote. And when I tell you, I was there like, I'm like, am I at a concert? I'm at a Cenote with my drink and my friends having a time. The night event was a nightclub called Toxic. We were supposed to do dinner before and then go to the nightclub, but everybody was pooped after the cenote. They canceled the night event and they just like ordered pizzas to everybody's hotel. I feel like I did a really good job packing for this trip because every dress that I wore to each event that I planned to wear it at was like fit it perfectly. So I rewore a blue dress that I was really feeling. We pulled up at Toxic. This one was more like club vibes. That night we were gonna have three performances. I think Eric and Seven were gonna perform together. And then we had Bobby Brackens and he was up here doing his thing. Micah Slade, I don't know where this guy came from, but he was up there with an electric saxophone, his keys, his cutesy girl singing backgrounds. The fact that they were selective about the people they chose to be on the trip, it gives it a certain kind of quality. And I'm finding new music, new people that I like. And I thought that was really awesome. Day three, day three was probably my favorite. It was probably my favorite because we started with ATVs. Ask me when I've ever ridden an ATV. Never in my life. Side note, you didn't have to go to all the events if you didn't want to. So if you wanted to stay at the hotel and sleep in, you could skip the ATVs and show up to the next thing. So everything wasn't mandatory, but at this point, we in Tulum, we doing everything. I'll be okay, I'll sleep when I get back to the house. So we had to wake up at 8 a.m. to freaking go do the ATVs. So I pull up, I've never been on an ATV. I wasn't about to be in the Weenie Hut Junior group because Will and JR both ride motorcycles, so ATVs are literally nothing for them. And I'm not about to be in Weenie Hut Junior group. And then once again, they come back talking about all their adventures. We're going to, no, I'm not doing that. So I said, Nikki, I don't care if you've never ridden this before, you're okay you're fine you'll figure it out you're gonna do a good job i had a thought in my head i'm like what if i flip and this freaking atv falls on me and i'm not able to freaking go to the yacht party or any of the other events and i'm in pain like absolutely not all of those thoughts i quite literally put them in a ball and threw them out the window because the fomo that i had for being left behind was more to overpower anything so we rode the atvs like seven to ten minutes into the jungle and we got to this cave and we got to walk into the cave. The mosquitoes were waiting for us with their bibs on because as soon as we started taking our shoes off, they were like, they didn't care. If they try to come on your arm and you say, get off, they're like, okay, I'll go to the other arm then. It's still my arm, babe. So we went into the cave. There were bats and birds in there and the water was like, apparently like super clean and it had a bunch of minerals in it. So we got to like wash off and stuff like that and like use the sand on our skin. And then after that, they had like this Mayan ritual thing. I oh, don't know. I don't know about rituals. Whole time I'm like, fun fact, my granny, anytime she's like, something's happening that's like not of God and it's kind of like showing a little bit of wickedness, she like holds up her hand. And because she was old, her little finger would shake like this. So anytime I see anything crazy happening, I'm like, so the whole time they're doing their little jumpy thing she bringing around a smoke. I don't know what you're saying. You could be saying blessings, all that, but I'm seeing a little freaking sacrifice over there. So I'm over there like, we are not about to do this with my hand behind my back, shaking my little finger. So we watched that and then we hopped back on the ATVs and headed back to where we pulled up. So we go change, hop back on the bus and it was like a neon like vibe um, at the party. We out here. No? So we out here. Like a yeah, we, Whoa. we walk into this like venue area and they had a bunch of boats and stuff and we hopped onto our boat it was hot as heck the sun was beaming and i was so excited that i found a cutesy hat because i couldn't find one at all when i was shopping for one before i left and the fact that this one was like big enough because i got a big old head like none of the other hats were fitting so this one worked perfectly and i was so glad i had some shade because if not i was gonna be a tata crisp on the boat we just drove the boat for about, I would say maybe 30 minutes is what it felt like. And then we got to like a shallow area where they were able to like hop off the boat, get the anchor set down 
and then we were able to kind of like jump off and like swim that was really fun after that we got to eat and i just want to make a side note on the guacamole at this point i'm like i need a tub of guacamole to take back to the america because i don't know what's going on because this guac every piece of guacamole i put in my mouth was delicious everywhere so we ate and then we played like the heads up game and people were playing music there was a dj on the boat and it was really nice we took pictures you already know i was like sean get me at the front of the boat then we took the boat back and we headed back to the hotel because we needed to get ready to go to dinner. Um, the dinner for this night was at this place called Gitano and it was like a restaurant and then it had like a space in the back that was kind of like a club space, like a dance floor and stuff like that and had like a DJ and everything. And this was our black and gold night. Everybody was in black and gold looking dapper. It looks super chic. They had like a bunch of pre-ordered menus. So they would just like bring everything out and you pick and choose what you want, which made everything kind of convenient and easy. After we ate, we went into the back room and we kind of like took it over because we were about to do our performances. We had like three performances and they all were great. I'd never seen any of them perform. I'd never heard any of, actually I heard Natalie LaRose music before. I just didn't know that that was her. We stayed there for a bit and then we all got back on the bus, headed back to the hotel for the last day. I don't know who planned the trip, but I think they did a really good job of spreading out the events. Even though it was really packed, I feel like each day was like perfect. Like the ATV yacht dinner combo, that was great. And I say that because Sunday was also the perfect Sunday day. It wasn't like a crazy like woo day. It was like, okay, it's the last day of the trip. We're all exhausted, but we're still trying to have a good time they wanted to do like an interview like conversations with top shelf um they had like different artists and different people who are top of their game do interviews and we were able to ask questions it wasn't just about music there was politics there was different types of stuff and i thought that that was very uh, very much needed so it's like you were able to eat breakfast and come up to the rooftop and everybody was talking will got his little interview always proud of him when he does that i feel like i know all the answers to his interview questions I feel like if I needed to act like him, I could and answer the questions and you wouldn't even know. Get this. Me, Will and Junior were like, um, we have to perform tonight. The shuttle leaves at 4.30. We probably won't be able to make it back if we go to the next thing, which was like a beach club. I didn't know it was a beach club. I just knew it was like an event. Thank the Lord I went. Cause when we pull up to that place, this is how I like to party. We don't have to dress up. You're in your cutesy little kini. You get to be barefoot, comfortable with the drinks, the beach, the restaurants. You can have like little cabanas. There's a pool. There were so many different things and the colors and every, I was just like so overwhelmed that I'm like, I can't believe that I even fixed my mouth to say that I wasn't gonna go. Yo, we out here in Tulum and the beaches, the Mexican beaches. This water feels so good. I need a beach in my backyard immediately. That was my favorite place because it was just, it was beautiful. The DJ was great. Um, the food was yummy. They had sushi. We had fries. We had all kinds of stuff coming out. I, Nikki Gittins, I'm at, I'm getting my leg painted. I'm dancing. I don't do that. Y'all, I don't do that. I literally sit in a corner and I was feeling myself on this trip because I was comfortable. Junior lost his sunglasses, RIP to his sunglasses. I, it really hurts me, his Dolce's. Ugh, those were his first cutesy sunglasses and the ocean took him. No, Junior's glasses got knocked off in the ocean. My head was hurting because I'm tired and the, it's bright outside. So oh, I no. kept them on, I shouldn't have. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, it's all right. Ah, I'm hurt. Uh, my favorite <laughs> I know, I'm hurt. That's Don't bring it up to him because he'd be really sad. Actually, he's not sad. He'd had him for a while and it's just sad that the ocean took it but i'm like hey some fish is about to be like stunting with the shades on so hopefully somebody else gets it and makes good use of it so after we were at the day party we were just chilling hanging out and then me will and jr had to leave early to head back to the hotel to change and be ready to head back to head to the venue we were definitely late but that's beside the point we made it there in time 
But when we got to the venue, it was at a different time of day. So I felt like I was seeing it for the first time all over again. They had this rooftop walkway and you walk in and it's like you're walking in the sky and you're seeing like little cute baskets where you can sit and have dinner. I felt like I was in a treehouse and you walk in and it's like the sun is setting. It's just beautiful. And honestly, I was like, this right here is how you end a trip. It's chill vibes. Everybody's going to be dressed super cutesy. The, even the music, the people that were performing, it was going to be more chill performances. We're under the stars. The venue is perfect. So that night, Micah performed again and he got to do like a longer set. So we got to see like more of his music and they slayed it. And then um, Will performed after. There's something about a, an acoustic performance on a rooftop in Tulum under the stars by the beach. This is my A, this is my sign. This is what I live and what I like. This one from and what I do. This what I love. How about you? You're the only one looking on my flame. Baby, just play it straight, straight. No games. We had dinner, food was good. Drinks were so cool. They had these cutesy little espresso drinks to start everybody off. And then they would bring out different options and stuff. And I thought that was so cute. And then after that, we left and went back to the hotel. We didn't have an after party. We were supposed to be like, okay, after party at the other hotel, but there was no way for us to like bus over there and make it back. All the shuttles were done. We don't have to go over there to have a good time. We got bottles, we got games. We can have our own little time here. So we all sat in the lobby and we were chit chatting, talking. So we're sitting there and then we started to get a little loud. So we took it up to the rooftop and on the rooftop, we were just sitting around by the day beds and stuff like that. And we just like had the table. We made like a makeshift light with like a glass and somebody's phone so we can like sit and be like by a campfire. While we're up there chilling, me, Will, and one of the girls who we went downstairs because we had to use the bathroom and the bathrooms were literally like both male and female in the same room. And we're drunk. Having moments like these are like my favorite thing. Yo, I'm in the bathroom right now. Billy, say hi. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm literally. Why are we in the same bathroom? This is never. This is so fun. Look at us oh. in the bathroom. This is crazy. <laughs> so you guys can see. First of all, first of I all, went in the boys' room. Oh, are we in the boys' bathroom? Are we in the boys' bathroom? No, this one says girl. Okay. Okay, I was about to say, whoops. Honestly, those type of moments are the ones that like lock in memories for me. This morning, we ended up going to bed at like 4 a.m. And we didn't have to wake up. Our flight was leaving out at 6 p.m. And we had to check out by like 12.30 or something like that. So we got to sleep in. And honestly, when I woke up, I was kind of sad. I was sad because I'm like, everybody's leaving. We're all going back home. We out, friends. Checking out. Oh. I don't want to leave. This is crazy, but I'm ready to go back so I can take a nap because talk about a full trip. Tulum, it's been real. It's been fun. I will definitely be back. I feel like I want to try every single hotel on this trip. So we have a lot of traveling to do, guys. Let's figure this out. How are we going to do this? Overall, it was quite literally one of my favorite experiences. The fact that I got to do it with my brothers crazy the fact that i made some new friends insane the fact that i got to go to a new country try different food try different experiences different places i got to take myself out of my comfort zone check 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 everything was just check i have no complaints all right so that's it that was my trip to tulum thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you got a good idea of what the experience was like I wish I could have taken you all with me so we can experience it together. Make sure and check out my other content. You won't be disappointed. It's going to be a good time. Stay tuned for more vlogs. Where are we going next? I don't know. It could be the Bahamas. It could be Dubai. It could be Greece. I don't know where we're going. Who knows? I'm just letting God handle it because that's what he does. Mm, mm, mm. Me and Tulum. <laughs>